Hello, it's Jade X, and if you are in the know about Western animation and anime, you'd know that for the latest Treehouse of Horror, The Simpsons did a Death Note parody. But what if I told you this is the second time the Yellow Family has parodied the popular anime? Yeah, there is one Death Note parody that preceded the most recent one. That story being Murder He Wrote from Treehouse of Horror issue 14 that came out in 2000. 2008. What's interesting about both Death Note spoofs is that the comic one focuses on Bart getting the Death Note, while the episode segment Death Tome focuses on Lisa getting it instead. Both spoofs overall are great! For this video, I'll be talking about both briefly since I highly recommend you read and watch them for yourself. The first Death Note parody is very special because it's illustrated by an artist named Nina Matsumoto who goes by Space Coyote Online. Prior to doing work for Bongo Comics, she did anime fan art of the Simpsons characters. If you were on DeviantArt in the early 2000s, you probably saw this picture. I really like that for this story, the people at Bongo decided to go with a manga art style. Nina does an amazing job depicting the Simpsons characters as Death Note characters. The details are great, like Krusty the Clown filling the role of Ryuk in Lisa is drawn to look like L. The comic itself is really funny. In the comic, Bart gets a death note after Jimbo accidentally kills himself by writing in it. He soon meets Krusty, who is now a Shinigami. He used the death note as a little black book, however, women he wrote in it ended up dying. Krusty then autographed a death note page for Bart that he took out of the book, which led to him dying and becoming a Shinigami. Bart eventually uses the book to kill Sideshow Bob after he mentions he wants Bart dead on TV. However, after he learns someone named Al is after him, he throws the book away. Unfortunately, the book ends up being used by Marge, who thinks it's a normal notebook. She accidentally kills people with food names when she uses the page for a shopping list. But yeah, the funniest part of the comic is where Ned Flanders gets killed in the Death Note after Homer writes in it. However, Homer had no idea the book had that power and was just writing Ned Flanders' death fan fiction. Bart, under the advice of Krusty, kills people who saw him with the Death Note. Actually, correction, it was Marge who killed them by accident. She thought that uh, Bart was gonna invite the people who saw him with the Death Note to his birthday. However, when he's told to kill Lisa, who he thinks is investigating him as L, he refuses. It turns out Lisa is an L at the end, but that she has a life note. Chief Wiggum, who was investigating Bart, reveals that Ralph was L, which is an interesting twist. Ralph can't spell, hence why that's his code name. Police Wiggum then tells Bart to bring everyone back to life with the other book. Overall, it's a solid parody. It's hilarious. It was a really fun read. Death Tome is a part of the most recent Trios of Horror, and it's fantastic as well. It's a really well put together spoof. What's neat about this segment is that it was animated by a studio called DR Movie, who worked with Madhouse on the original Death Note anime. Death Tome is so beautifully animated, the studio translated The Simpsons into anime very well. What's great about this segment is that it's a complete reversal of the previous parody. Rather than Bart get the notebook, Lisa gets it instead. Lisa honestly fits Light better than Bart in my opinion. Lisa is smart, just like Light, and is an upstanding student. The segment focuses on Lisa meeting Steve Johnson, a Shinigami, who shows up to Lisa after she kills Jailbird with the Death Tome after he threatens to shoot a cat. Soon enough, Lisa kills Mr. Burns with the Death Tome after she realizes he'll hurt the environment. However, she then finds out his evil organization that pollutes the environment has more members. What follows is a great scene of Lisa killing those people in various crazy ways. This scene is a homage to the scene of light killing people in the Death Note anime. But yeah, in this segment, the writers decided to change the Death Note rules from the original anime in this parody where Lisa can't kill the same way twice. I get why they did this since the writers wanted to get creative with her kills. This includes a toilet gator and later a toilet lion. 
But yeah, L catches on to Lisa. Lisa has no idea who L is, so she can't kill him. However, she soon realizes the L stands for Alberto. That joke cracked me up. While Bart doesn't completely suit L as a character personality-wise, it was still a funny reveal. But yeah, Lisa almost kills Bart until he begs her not to. She then kills Steve Johnson instead. Lisa is happy to be free of the death tone, but then she becomes a Shinigami. Overall, I love this segment. It's wildly different from the comic parody of Death Note, which is a good thing, but has some similarities as well. Both end with the Simpsons siblings refusing to kill each other with their Death Notebooks, but aside from that, both are very different stories. Overall, I find it interesting that The Simpsons parody Death Note twice, which isn't, which isn't a lot, but it's weird it happened, happened twice. twice. Right? I highly recommend you check out both parodies. There's a comic reading of the Murder He Wrote story on YouTube, which I'll link in the description. Death Note overall is one of my all-time favorite anime, so I'm glad The Simpsons mocked it on two occasions. This has been Shade X, and I hope you all feel nothing but good vibes. <laughs> We're under the influence of uh, low pressure and this weather uh, from pushing north.